everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about the deck and walk that I'm about to do. A lot of deck and walks are finishing up right now because I think there was quite a few that happened in the year of 2023, ending obviously in the next week or so. Um, but I wanted to do one myself personally and I, and I didn't have the opportunity to do it last year. So I decided I was going to do it this year. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a deck and walk and I figured I might as well record it and allow others to join in if you want to join in. Maybe you missed the deck and walk last year too and maybe you want to start one yourself this year and you're more than welcome to just follow along and come with me. Uh, now getting into it and understanding deck and walk, you kind of have to understand a little bit about a zodiac but like I said, we're, I'm going to... I'm going to try to keep this really simple because astrological stuff can get a little complicated and a little confusing sometimes. So I want to just make this as simple as possible. There's obviously a lot more to this. This can go very in depth. There's going to be elements and things that I leave out because I just feel that they're not, they're not um, needed for this journey. And I, like I said, I really want to keep this as beginner friendly as possible. So I'm explaining, I'm going to explain really fast about like what a Deccan is and like what that pertains to and what that's all about. And I'm going to use this wheel right here that I downloaded off of Google. I literally just Googled Deccan wheel and this is what came up and I grabbed this. You can use any which one you feel speaks to you. This one tends to be kind of the popular choice because it's pretty with all of its colors, but it's also just really easy and not complicated, right? It's very straightforward. So when we talk about a Deccan, a, this is the zodiac wheel, right? So this is 360 degrees full zodiac wheel. The zodiac new year starts in Aries, which is March 21st. So we're right on the beginning of the, the zodiac new year. The zodiac wheel is divided up into each one of the zodiac houses or signs, I guess you could say. So there's Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libo, Lib Libo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and ending in Pisces, right? Now, each one of these segments has been divided into sections or a decan. So each one of these is 10 degrees. The 10 degrees is really honestly irrelevant for what we're doing. Um, that honestly can just complicate things. So don't think too deeply into that. But the sign is divided into to Each sign is 30 degrees and it's divided into three sections being 10 degrees each. Each one of these decans exists for roughly 10 days. So March 21st to March 30th is our first decan. And it is the Two of Wands. The planetary is Mars. The zodiac is obviously Aries, because we're in Aries, right? And then it also brings in our elements, which are our earth, fire, wind, and water, right? And those go with them as well, right? Wands are fire. Pentacles are earth. Swords are air. And cups are water. So we can kind of bring in elemental energy with it as well too, if, if it's not too much coming on. But you want to think about that, like fire. So like it's going to be, you know, Aries. Aries is known for their passion, for their fire, for their, their drive, for their determination, right? That ram energy, right? So that is very much going to be the energy that exists within this Deccan, right? Now, when we look at this, we can also see we, that there's cardinal fixed immutable. So what that roughly means is cardinal is the beginning of a season. Fixed is the full embodiment of the season. And mutable is the ending of a season and the beginning of a next season. So it is the beginning of the end of spring and beginning of summer. So it's just the closing out of the season and getting ready for the next one, right? So that's all that cardinal fixed immutable means. Just really quite simple, simplified, right? Now, when we get into this, 
The Deccan Walk is about taking this journey and following the sun as it goes through the wheel and follows the zodiac, the zodiac signs, right? So it is a year-long journey. It's, it's, it's quite a commitment. However, there is a lot of information and a lot of stuff that just comes through. It, it's, you know, it's the course of a year, but it entwines astrology and tarot in a, such a unique and amazing way. The Golden Dawn has taken this and has put the minor arcana of the tarot in association with each one of these decans right? So it's a really interesting way to get to know the minor arcana. But we can also pull in majors as well too, because we've got planetary symbols as well as the astrological. So when we're looking at that, March 21st to the 30th, so our very first card is the two of wands. It's bringing in that Mars energy and which is the tower and it's bringing in Aries, which is associated with the emperor. So we've got the two of wands, but we can also look at the tower and the emperor card. And we can look at how all three of those cards and the energies play together during that time, that 10 days that that card is in, in place, right? And it's just looking at how the planetary and the zodiac and all of that different things, how that has sway and influence over our life during those 10 days, which is really quite amazing and interesting, right? So it's just a really great way to just get to know the minor arcana really, really good, as well as majors, because I said we're going to be pulling those in as well too. And if you look at the book that I'm going to be referencing and using a lot, so this is the popular book that everybody's using right now, and it's The 36 Secrets by T. Susan Chang. I grab a copy of this myself, and I've been spending time with it. It's awesome. But in here, she has her wheel, right? And if you look, you'll see that the Golden Dawn also put in the court cards, so we have the court card associations in here, as well as the aces. So at the end of the day, we really have a lot of information to take off of, and we are going to have a lot of different cards to look at and see how they play in, right? So that's kind of the easiest way that I can find to explain it. It might be confusing, but you're just following the zodiac wheel, right? And each section, each month, the zodiac month is divided into three weeks, right? And you're looking at 10 days, 10 days, 10 days, a little over a week, right? So you've got 10 days, 10 days, 10 days. So every 10 days, your cards are going to be changing. And you're going to be looking at a new card, a new association, a new element, new things coming forward, right? So and that's kind of the way it goes. And that's the easiest way to explain it right now. Honestly, when you get going and you start doing it, it'll make a lot of sense. This book, like you don't have to buy anything to do a deck and walk, but I do strongly suggest this book as well as getting yourself a deck and wheel. If you're going to get this book, you might as well just, you can use hers in here, or you can go and download this one like I did and have kind of more of a simplified version of it. Whatever you're comfortable with, is what's important, right? You can use just a basic Rider Waite deck. Um, however, I have the Hermetic Tarot, so I will be taking opportunity to use the Hermetic, the Hermetic Tarot, and it's all of its glory, right? The Hermetic Tarot is based off of the Golden Dawn's work, so this is very much set up to do an amazing deck and walk with. Now, if I get my camera to focus, and there we go, you'll see that the cards are set up with the sign of Aries right there and the planet Mars. So I know it has the astrological elements on these cards, every single one that in the minors that we're working with. So it makes it easy for me to have that association. Um, I'm also probably gonna be working with the Rider Waite right along with it. And just because she does refer to it a lot in the book, and it's nice to just have that symbolism in your mind, right? And see the um, the Rider Waite cards, because that's the deck that pretty much everybody kind of knows, right? You know it or you don't. More, more people know it than don't. It's like the deck that is probably the most popular, to tell you the truth. So you can get yourself 
a Rider weight, or maybe you already own one. If you want to, you can get the Hermetic Tarot if you want to follow along with a deck built, you know, uh, based off of the Golden Dawn stuff, which is what this is all based around too. This book, The 36 Secrets, is probably a great thing to pick up if you want a little bit of assistance and help. But this is the book that I'll be reading out of and I'll be referring to. She's got poetry in here. She's got a whole lot of wonderful stuff. So it's definitely going to be my source, as well as I do have a few more sources uh, that I will be pulling in. If you like doing Kindle. Let me close this out. I can show you my Kindle here. Um, I just downloaded the sample because I wanted to see what it looked like, but it's actually in color. So if you want a colored copy and you want a little bit of, you know, that stuff going on, you can totally 100% do the Kindle edition. You don't have to buy the book and have the book present. You can do it on the Kindle app. So whatever speaks to you, right? Um, I also have, I also have a digital journal set up for myself, and I have all of the different zodiac, or I keep saying zodiac, the different deck and wheels that have spoke to me, and I can refer to those. I have it broken up to. I have it outlined what the Deccan is, Aries. I could put information in here. And then I have it set up to journal and to take pictures and to do whatever I want. And just to keep um, track of what happened that week, what came forward, what, how did that Aries energy, um, that two of wands energy affect me that week? You know, it's a great way to develop keywords. It's a great way to really just understand that whole energy and, idea behind that card and it just makes a very very deep understanding and relationship with tarot which is fantastic so if you're interested in joining along with the journey you are more than welcome to every 10 days i will be uploading a little video that has the cards you know different elemental associations, things like that. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but we're in the middle of a thunderstorm. So that was some pretty good thunder that just happened. Um, <laughs> it probably, hopefully it canceled. It's a noise canceling mic. It might've just cut it out and I might just sound crazy, but there's just a really good crash of thunder. Anyways, so I will be uploading a, a video every 10 days and it they could be a little bit more in depth to brief depending on what time I have. And like I said, this is a year long commitment and I want this to be really laid back and I just want this to be simple. I don't want this to be stressful. I don't want anyone stressing out. If you miss out, you miss out, but you literally have 10 days to visit that card and to visit the energy of that card. I suggest you call, pull the cards at the beginning of the week so that you have that whole 10 days to kind of reflect and see how that energy has come into your life. But you can also pull them at the end of the 10 days and see what has happened and, and, and reflect on the events that took place and the things that happened that pertains to that, right? So, I mean, really at the end of the day, you can do it whatever way works best for you. Um, I do not know what the year ahead is going to hold for me. If anything, the last few years has taught me to not trust in anything, that everything and anything can happen. So I do have full plans on uploading a video every 10 days. And like I said, referring to the energy of that card, uh, maybe recapping over the previous card and how that applied in my life and then going on to the new one. Uh, so just a little bit of stuff in there. But like I said, if one or two get missed, it's not the end of the world. But I'm usually pretty good at keeping up on the things that I commit to. So hopefully I'm able to stay true to that and be able to, every 10 days, pull one of these cards and get in here and explain it to you guys. It's going to be on YouTube. So I mean, if you do miss a little bit, you can always go back and kind of think about that that week that that card fell upon and reflect maybe on the events that took place that that week if you can remember within those 10 days I keep saying week but it's like a little over a week right um but yeah so hopefully this is going to be fun hopefully you can join on uh, join along and 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 have some fun along with me I ask you to subscribe if you're going to and just give me that follow so that you don't miss out on any of my videos and that you're able to easily find anything that I post and that comes up during the meantime um, and yeah so once again to just recap you can get yourself the Kindle edition of this book you can get this book you can find this at Amazon or on Indigo 
it's readily available. If you want to do the Golden Dawn uh, based deck, that is the Hermetic Tarot. You can find that on Amazon. I do not believe Indigo is carrying it. Um, I think you can find it definitely on Amazon. So that's something that you can bring in as well too. Or you can just use the very, very basic and what everybody has. Rider weight. Because she does refer to it, right? So I will be definitely having my Rider weight right along with me. Um, and that can be part of it as well, too. If you want to use the Rider weight and you feel a little lost on the astrological symbols and stuff like that, you can always get an astrological based oracle. I have a couple in shop. My preference is the Stars Divine. I'll grab it right now. So this is the Stars Divine, and its creator is Alessandria Leon. And she's the one who did the, um, the Lioness Oracle Tarot, right? So she did this wonderful astrological base deck. It's, it's everything in one. Planets, Zodiac, everything. So it's just absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, I've got, like, reverses and stuff in here. Um... And it's great. It's She's got the planets in here. She's got the signs. She's got the houses. She's got everything. She's got the moon cycles. She's got self node, north nodes. She's got everything in here, right? So if you're using the Rider weight and you really want that astrological association, you can always get, like I said, an astrological oracle. Um, I do have a couple of these left in shop, not very much. They were a pretty popular deck. Uh, and her book, her write-up is awesome. It's very simple. It's very to the point. It helps you to understand, tells you a little bit about it. And it's a great a great deck to learn astrology off of as well as to use in something like this. So that's another deck that you can bring in and use and work with. Sorry, I'm off camera today. I'm being bad. And it's just, it's beautiful, right? If you, if you like the lioness, you'll like this too. Her work is gorgeous. It's a collage deck, but it's a simple collage deck. It's not heavy. It doesn't have two tons of stuff going on in it, which is really nice. And it's just beautiful, bright colors, you know, looks good with the rider weight for the most part. So it's something to consider if you do want to have like that astrological element um, because you're not interested in having the hermetic tarot, right? But at the same time, like I said, you really honestly don't even need much. You can just follow along with me and what I'm doing and I'm going to obviously give all that information and do all of that stuff. So it'll be really easy to kind of keep full track of and what to do and how to do it. Um, hopefully I explained that well enough and hopefully I didn't leave you guys more confused than you, than you came in here with. Um, it's not, astrology is hard to explain. Um, it's, it's a, it's a difficult thing. There's just, there's a lot of math to it. There's a lot of elements to it. You know, and at the end of the day, it's sometimes can be just quite a headache. But if you break it down in the simplest terms possible, it's doable and we can get through it and we can make it happen. Um, really, at the end of the day, it's going to teach you doing a deck and walk is really going to help you with your astrology stuff as well, too. So you'll learn a lot doing this and following along. Um yeah. And I mean, who doesn't like learning things? I love learning things. So I'm so excited to start this. I'm ready. Mercury. And of course, we're starting this during Mercury and retrograde. If anyone knows, Mercury is going into RX like within the next couple of weeks. We're in its post shadow or pre shadow. Sorry, right now. And it is definitely showing up big in my life. It destroyed my camera. And this is a new camera that I just got. I'm still learning it. It is super, super fancy. And it's kind of like, whoa. And I'm I'm a little thrown off by it. Uh, my old camera was very simple and very straightforward. This one has a lot of features. So I'm still learning that as well too. So hopefully everything looks good and the video sounds good and it's all awesome. Um, but yeah, so I hope to see you guys join along. Like I said, I'll be uploading videos every 10 days. And I'm excited to do this journey. And I'll see you guys on March 21st. I'm probably, yeah, I'll see you guys on March 21st. I was going to say I was going to do a video beforehand, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to upload that video and have that ready for March 21st for us. And we are going to start a deck and walk. And I can't wait. So thanks for watching.
like, subscribe, all that awesome stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.